Um, this is a fork. A fork is something you use to stab food while you're eating it. It's not your typical table talk. Here's a kitten. The conversation giving researchers a fascinating glimpse at two brains interacting. What we're doing here is developing a novel technology using near-infrared spectroscopy that allows us to look at these brain signals simultaneously between two individuals. The Yale Brain Function Lab is part of a wider effort to study multiple brains at once, rather than studying one brain at a time. To show the brain in action, research subjects put on skull caps, affixed with fiber optic cables that shoot laser beams into their brains. The beams bounce off the blood and show how much oxygen it is carrying. That reveals where the brain is most active. Blue five. Okay. The data is then inputted into a computer. Red 23. We want to understand the neural circuitry that's associated with interaction between individuals. It's probably one of the most fundamental functions of the human species, and yet we know very little about it. Scientists hope their research will eventually lead to new therapies for autism, Alzheimer's, and schizophrenia. In the case of autism, the primary hallmark of the disorder, the one that is usually first noticed when um, parents and uh, uh, health professionals suspect that a child might have autism, is the fact that the child fails to engage with other individuals. And yet, we know very little about that neural circuitry that involves engagement with others. At Princeton University, neuroscientist Uri Hassan is also looking at how brains interact when one person talks to another. So the similar the brain patterns, the better the communication and the understanding. So if you really get me now, your brain patterns become similar and coupled to my brain patterns. Researchers already have their eye on using the technology to peer into the brain during other activities. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, New Haven, Connecticut.